The internet and the World Wide Web are intimately tied to everyday lives. It has put information that we seek at our fingertips, remedies for the common cold, dinner recipes, sports updates, developments in the Middle East, you name it, you will find it on the internet. We know that the creation of such content happens from the basement of individuals like you and me, as well as businesses such as CNN, BBC, and NBC, whose work it is to create such content. How is the content on the internet stored and distributed? In the first two lessons of this module, we looked at the server end of the giant scale services. How are computational resources organized in the data center? How is the data organized internally in the computational nodes of the cluster? And what is the programming model for dealing with the big data associated with giant scale services and for exploiting all the computational resources that are available in the server farms at data centers? In this lesson, we look at content distribution networks. That is, how is information organized, located, and distributed when we are looking for them. Once again, the issue is dealing with the scale of the problem. The content is generated worldwide, and users are trying to access the content worldwide as well. 